Hell Flash! Hey guys, what's up? W Gaming here, and today we have a new video for you guys. Today we're starting a series. It's gonna be called How to Fight With, and on this episode, it will be with Android 16, Senkai 7 Android 16. And on these episodes, what we will be doing is the, discussing the character and trying to find the ways that ha really show the character some justice and really makes them shine. We're going to find their abilities and we're going to discuss what are the potential best ways to actually use the characters. On this case, like I said, it's going to be with 16. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want any other characters to be featured on these episodes, let me know. So yeah, let's get right into it. Here it comes. So we are starting here with my boy 16. This guy is a tank. Yeah, he is definitely a tank. He tanks a lot and he does a lot of things very, very, very good. We're gonna see his kit and we're gonna analyze it and we're gonna see how to really, really use him most efficiently. So he draws two strike cards. So his main damage is with strike cards. So that in there is pretty good. He's gonna keep drawing his main source of damage so if we see his strike cards there are normal strike cards if we see his blast cards there are normal blast cards if, he, if you see his blue card it says deals ma massive impact damage then plus 30 percent of self-destruct damage and in inflicted for 30 timer counts on hit on hit so if you land the blue card and you actually hit your opponent that actually activates and it also has blast armor blast armor when changing forward that is very important because that is one of the abilities he got when he got the zenkai it actually helps him uh, like land those blue cards more efficiently if you can frame trap your opponent you can find ways to actually use the blue card to land it more efficiently and that 30 plus 30 percent to self-destruct damage is going to be quite useful if you land it because he when he self-destructs that's one of his main quirks you know he pops he like a balloon pop <laughs> he just blows up and he deals your opponent a lot of damage and helps your team and right here he will have extra damage when you once you use it keep in mind that is only for 30 timer counts but 30 timer counts is plenty you know you might find yourself in a situation where, where this could be useful and yeah it's gonna help a lot and it's gonna deal quite a bit of damage now his green cards are one of the most important things to use with him why because of, of what it says here it restores on key by 30 plus 20 percent of damage inflicted for 20 timer counts which is good but this one right here the last of words is plus 15 percent of salvage shock damage inflicted uh, inflicted and it cannot be cancelled that's the difference between his blue cards and his green cards the blue card gives you 30% self-destruct damage, but it faints away at 30 timer counts. When you use the green cards, it does not go away. So every green card you draw and you use with him, you get even more damage when you self-destruct. So he has potentially limitless amounts of damage that he can carry on his shoulders. He could like hit you, you know, if you actually somehow uh, grind up like 10 green cards with him is gonna be like uh what's that 150 percent extra damage just like passively just with him waiting to use his his uh awaken arts card that's pretty good so keep in mind that you want to use as many green cards with him as you can as possible so once you land the, the explosion the self-destruct the final strength it says it deals self-destruct damage the <laughs> the self-destruct damage does not depend on own health but deals a fixed amount of damage um yeah the following effects occur on self-destruct hit so once he self-destruct with this card right here this purple card he gives 50 percent to gohan characters 
key recovery so to ally character go on key recovery key recovery for 20 timer counts inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrades minus 80 percent to health restoration for 30 timer counts and it also has blast armor so if you frame trap your opponent and you see they're throwing blast cards at you you could just rip through them and hit them with the flat with the <laughs> final strength so keep in mind that minus 80 percent to health restoration is very good and it says to all enemies so your opponents all all of your opponent's characters will heal minus 80 percent of what they usually heal so let's say they're using lf gohan if they try to heal up it's not going to be as high as they usually heal up if they're using a region team is going to hinder their regeneration as well so it is pretty good once you that but that keep in mind that is when he actually lands that ability um i'm not sure i think sometimes you see it even though you don't pop this is a waking arch card i think not actually no if he gets killed without like self-destructing himself this should not apply this should not happen because it's not happening if you're not using the actual card so right here we get the main ability and it says draw awaken us card final strength that is the card that makes him self-destruct he res he restores key by 70 which that is a lot and plus 30 percent of damage inflicted for 15 time accounts so this is general damage overall so even if you self-destruct with this card if you pop like about five cards five green cards that's about 75 percent or something like that and then you pop this card you got about 100 damage inflicted with him with his self-destruct so that's pretty pretty good now let's look at his unique abilities and let's discuss how he will play at his best so the first passive says reduce damage received by 50 percent and the combo ends when changing cover restores 50 percent of damage taking during cover change and plus two drone substitution counts so that last part is like the hindering part of him. Once you use this, uh, he will like, uh, when you switch out of him, he will take longer to go back in. So that's one drawback. But the rest of the ability is very, very good. You receive 50% of the damage that they're gonna deal anyways, and then you heal another 50% within that damage received. So he you heal up. Basically, your opponent will only be doing like a 25% of damage that they were supposed to do to you. So that is pretty darn good. That is a good thing. Now, this effect is very powerful for him. The following effects occur after enemy attack is over. Plus 20% of damage inflicted by allies for 20 timer counts and plus 20% of damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. So the first 20%, uh, you might be confused by this, the first 20% is for all your team. So everyone is getting 20% every time your enemy ends a combo on him. But he also gets 20 extra percent for himself. So it says damage inflicted, that's just for himself, for allies, or by allies, it's for everyone. So for himself, he gets 40% every time your opponent ends a combo on him. So that's pretty powerful. This counts tap attacks, tap blasts, tackles, anything that starts a hit on you on 16 and ends, it counts. Even if it's a million year long combo, once the combo ends, this applies. If they tackle you a lot, they tap attack you a lot, that is just gonna buff you up, buff 16 up and your entire team as well. Very powerful effect right there. Uh, his second unique ability nullifies own abnormal conditions, apply buff effect, nullify attribute downgrades up to two times to self when battle starts. So once the battle starts, he does not care about Hercule. Thank God that Hercule is so toxic, man. Man, and he is immune to that. So that within itself, maybe like some people may say that's just a wasted unique ability, but no, man, it, it really helps. Once you face up with with members uh, or, or opponents that use Hercule or or certain characters like that, that will really help you advance in the battle. Trust me. Then applies the following effects to allies when this character is defeated 
Restores health by 15% and plus 20% to damage inflicted and plus 15% to damage inflicted by tech, android, or character Gohan. So once he dies, even if you don't self-destruct, even if he just dies because they, he got killed by a rush or anything, he will restore your team's health by 15% and then give if you're using on an android uh, team or you have gohan or something like that they will be getting a total of 35% extra damage so he's supporting the team when he dies that is something very good for him because since he will be tanking a lot most likely he will die a lot because you will throw him out to tank some stuff and he's probably gonna die so that will help out the rest of your team when he's dead then it says rising weapon of destruction his last uh unique ability because this is just for the under 21 event so that doesn't really count for battles applies the falling effects to self according to the number of battle members when this character enters the battlefield if you have three members alive, meaning all your characters, you get a plus 40% to strike damage inflicted. If you got two battle members, only two characters on your side, you got 40% to general damage inflicted. And if he's your last man standing, you get 50% damage inflicted and he takes 20% less damage. So he's like a kind of like a last ten man, like last man standing unit. Uh, he's very versatile. If you see his kit, he can do many things. He can protect you a lot. He can actually go towards the damage side of things. You can actually blow himself up. You can actually decide not to do it. He, he, he can go... He can work with different play styles is what I'm trying to say. So if you want to let him at the, at the final parts of the battles, you can actually use him and he's going to deal a lot more damage and he's going to be very very good so let's see some clips that i have that will actually show you like within battles how these abilities work so yeah let's get right into it all right so on this battle we're going to start by getting be be getting hit and then changing to 16 so you're seeing the goku attacking and doing the side steps in order to keep the combo going and then he's gonna land yeah kamehameha so if you saw here we started out with about let's see 3.4 million and we're gonna take this long combo from this goku which has card draw speed and we're gonna see that within all his cards and everything he did he only lost about 400,000 so he still has 3 million to go so that's pretty pretty good that's pretty pretty good now if you see when goku's attacking if you see right above his health bar here you're gonna notice that there are some blue squares like below the cards those blue squares are the buffs that he gets so right now he's doing the job of tanking that that one on the from left to right has like a box with a shield on it that one means he's doing the cover cut so as long as that is up he's doing the cover cut once he the goku finishes the combo you're gonna see it pop it goes away but we got damage inflicted buffs and it shows here on the screen you can see that the two damage inflicted buffs are going the one for your whole team and the one that's for him so that's the 40 percent damage inflicted so it doesn't count only on on ending blasts and strike cards as you see it's happening again every time the combo ends every time the opponent lands a tap shot so we're getting a lot of tap shots here to boost his damage now when he lands a strike card that's like a lot of damage that would not happen like that if he wasn't like being buffed by the tap attacks so one strike card from 2666 went to 1.2 so that's about like 1.4 million that's pretty good okay that's pretty darn good now to the next two blast attacks for this go on the old Let's say from 2.8 to 1 point and almost 1 million with just two blast cards, which is not his strength. You know, it's not his main damage source. So we're going to pop this blue card to break the combo. So he dodges. And then we see the numbers right here. The total damage between the Goku and the Gohan was 2.3 million. Just with one strike and two blasts. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> and 
and yeah that, that's pretty good now what we're gonna do here is just wait and wait because you're gonna see the blue boxes here below the cards they're disappearing little by little because the timer counts are going and now the buffs are gone so with the damage inflicted that he gained when we got tap shot at and attacked it, it got lost so now i just throw this out and you'll see that the damage is going to be good but it's not going to go crazy it's, it's 2.5 million okay so what we did with the strikes and the blasts are similar to his, his self-destruct right here because it's not being buffed by green cards or anything he's just attacking with his ultimate or his awakened skill card arts card it's just like popping himself like randomly without getting buffed so that's how he will blow up here that's the amount of damage you can expect from him so let's get to another take i got for you guys so on this one we will be stacking the green cards we will be using as many as we can we got three right now that we're stacking up and that's gonna boost his damage quite a bit you know it's gonna make him quite more stronger and let's say we got three right now we got four right here this will be the fourth one and let's look for another one we got around uh, yeah, here we see we got the fifth one right here and then we pop the self-destruct so this is going to be his damage with five green cards and i think the the gohan actually tapped attack does here i don't remember no okay so this will be pure green cards with a self-destruct and boom you gotta hear five million so we got basically twice the amount of damage because we pop those green cards that's a lot of damage <laughs> so keep in mind you want to pop those green cards now if you look on the explosion here you see both characters died so we got two ko's and we see the red text up above it says health restoration down that's the effect where the health the enemy's health uh, rest restoration goes down by 80 percent and then the damage inflicted buffs are the buffs you get when he dies so this is what happens when he actually uh gets killed within his own self-destruct mechanic okay so here we will see an example where he actually hits you with a or hits the opponent with a blue card and then tries to do the ult so instead of just going with nothing at all we we're getting some buffs so this is something you can expect on a normal battle you just pop the blue card you got hit you get buffs by getting hit and you get buffs by using the blue card and then you got boom the effects going and we got a, a 3.3 million so about 800 uh, thousand more than last time when we, we did not pop anything to boost him up so that's what you can expect from him from like a normal heated battle you know you just hit them with a blue card you they you get hit then you try to hit them back and then you exploit yourself that's like a normal situation because you won't always have the ability to pop a million green cards before before you solve the struck so keep in mind that's pretty hard to do sometimes but once you get it boy the damage keeps getting stacked and he's gonna get very very good so yeah guys uh this is the video for today and yeah let's that's the video for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the discussion of android 16 and the ways to use him most efficiently he's a very good unit he's a defense top unit so he's not gonna be like gohan or like android 18 but he's gonna be very good and if you learn how to use him most efficiently or the best way possible he's gonna be very very good and he's gonna serve you a lot within the battles most of the time you might be using him as a tank but if you learn him and learn how to use him better you're gonna use him in different ways you didn't thought you could use him so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informative i hope it really helps you out and if it did please consider giving this video a like uh, sharing the video or even subscribing so you can get more videos like this and if you want another character to have a video similar to this let me know down below comment down below for this guys you rock thank you for being here with me please take care and bye bye